Springfield made it to 99 degrees yesterday, just shy of 100. Branson did the same. Lake of the Ozarks hit 100 for the second day in a row. Of course, no surprise, July is off to a hot start, running about 5 degrees above normal. We have spent uh, the first two weeks pretty much mostly above normal with temperatures in the 90s. As far as 90 degree days go for the month of July, our average is 12 days, 12 days at 90 degrees or warmer. So far we have 10 and we still have half of the month to go. The yearly average for 90 degree days is 35 days. So far, we're at uh, 32 days this year. And again, we still have half of July, all of August and part of September for that season of extreme heat. So uh, we'll definitely be above average for 90 degree days. The most 90 degree days in a year is 86 back in 1954. The least, there was only one year with no 90 degree days recorded, and that was back in 1906. Now, because of these very extremely hot dry conditions. We've got severe drought conditions that have been added for parts of southwest Missouri around Jasper and Newton counties in that Joplin area. The rain deficit is three to six inches just over the last 60 days. It's almost a foot for the last 90 days. Some impacts, the corn and the grass is not growing. The cattle is being sold because there's lack of hay. Stream flows are as much as 18 percent below normal and hot and dry conditions are continuing uh, are expected to continue through July into September. 75 right now in Springfield. It's 73 in Branson. Of course, a very warm and very muggy morning. We've got high pressure sitting right overhead, starting to nudge a little bit to the east. And as it nudges a little bit to the east, we keep a south wind on the backside. You can see that south wind and the moisture is popping some thunderstorms up uh, around uh, Minnesota and Iowa. We'll stay mostly dry because we still have this high pressure in control, but we'll kind of get into the crosshairs of that today. You could see more of that fuel for thunderstorms kind of laying over the Ozarks, but it's not a lot. So we'll keep an isolated storm chance this afternoon, but for the most part, we stay dry. Future cast shows that isolated storm chance, the healthiest chance would be along into the west of Highway 65. Very warm overnight, 74 degrees, and then tomorrow, We'll start to try to chip away at that heat. So we're looking at a couple of more storms possible tomorrow. Heat index 100 to 105 again today. We'll do that again tomorrow, just continuing with this oppressive heat and humidity. So that advisory stands today and tomorrow along into the north and west of I-44. Remember, stay cool, stay hydrated. Check the pets and elderly. I've got a list of tips for the pets on social media. The heat will gradually come down by next week. It's going to be a little by little chip away every day, and it's going to be relative. 90 isn't quote unquote cool, but it's better than 98. And we'll chip away at the heat as storm chances come up next week. We'll keep a couple of storms possible each day. Uh, today, 98. Mostly sunny, hot, and humid with an isolated storm possible, 74 overnight. It feels like 105 again tomorrow, but we'll have more in the way of showers and storms possible. We'll keep storm chances through the rest of the week with a gradual decrease in heat and humidity.